I've had a vagina the whole time. Uh, I didn't always have breast. I definitely implanted those. Um, but as far as I know, just a vagina the whole time. Hi, I'm Sylvia Sage. Welcome back to another episode of Sexy, Funny, Raw. And this week I'm going to be answering your questions. So without further ado, let's get started. Junior Going Big wants to know, do you like them boys below 23 years? Uh, no. I absolutely do not. <laughs> I have a very firm cutoff of men that I will date and it's 35 um, and older. I will not date anyone under the age of 35. Um, but I will say I will go to like dinner with someone if they are 25 and older, but 25 is like my bare minimum. Anything younger than that and I can guarantee I'm already going to hate you. We're just at way different places in life. What's your favorite love song? It's kind of corny. Oh, come on. I'll take you to the candy shop. I'll let you lick the lollipop. Go ahead, girl, and don't you stop. Keep going till you hit the spot. Whoa. Someone else wants to know, do you enjoy toe sucking? Yes, I do. <laughs> I have said for a long time that um, feet was never something I was into until I got into pornography and then um, I kind of experimented with some things and I realized that I really like toes sucking. I like being the one who sucks toes. I like having my toes sucked. Like put the feet in your mouth, but wash them first. Those could be some nasty little fuckers. Someone else wants to know if I'm trance I'm not really sure what you mean by that. I am assuming you mean, am I trans? Um, meaning, did I start out as a man and now become a woman? Um, not to my knowledge. Uh, I've had a vagina the whole time. Uh, I didn't always have breast. I definitely implanted those. Um, but as far as I know, just a vagina the whole time. But thank you. You like it so far? Mm-hmm. Everybody's been real nice. Well, that's because you have big jugs. I mean, your boobs are huge. I mean, I want to squeeze them. <sighs> Flutterbug90 wants to know, what's your life goals and what are you striving for? I have very big life goals. I have said for a long time, I want to change how the world views sex and sexuality. Uh, I think I came from a background that was very naive to sex and sexuality in general, whether that be um, a homophobic view or just a non-educated view. I feel like more people need to have more education. We need to be talking about sex more and making it not such a taboo subject and quit labeling people who are sexually confident as being slutty or whores or <laughs> demons. Uh, my goal is to absolutely change that for everyone and I'd like to leave a positive stamp on the world. Somebody asked, once you turn 92, which that's saying a lot that you think I'm gonna make it to 92, how are you going to feel looking back on your porn career? Uh, I think I'm gonna feel great about it. I mean, I'm in the best shape of my life, so I can't wait to look back as my 92-year-old self and see that sexy form of some 37-year-old I used to be. I'm looking forward to it. And I mean, I don't have kids, so it's not like I have to be like, ooh, mommy did this. Like, I'm just the cool aunt forever and always. So my cool aunt did porn. I think everybody's okay with that. Oh, I just want to... Oh, Stifler. Oh. Granny. Granny, what? Focus, focus, uh, focus. Out. That's still not what it looks like. Oh. Shut the fucking door. You got it, champ. <laughs> Oh. Somebody asked if I see my scenes. Um, I'm assuming you mean, do I watch my scenes back? Um, 
sometimes. Uh, I don't really like to because I'm very hypercritical of myself when I watch my porns back, mainly about the things I'm already bothered by on myself, which would be my nose and my butt, and now my boobs have really started to go in a direction I don't want them to go either. So I think when I watch myself back, I'm more just critical and I don't really get turned on by it. So I try and stay away from it, but I will say there has been a time or two where I've been scrolling through Pornhub just looking for something to masturbate and I found a scene that I remember like it being really hot when we were filming it and I was able to sit there and masturbate to that film. So sometimes. Dylan wants to know, what part of your feet do you like licked and on a scale from one to 10, how do you like your feet sucked? Um, well, I would say, <laughs> The part of my feet I like touch the most is everything. I want you to put your tongue in between my toes. <laughs> I want you to lick the arches of my feet and I want you to bite on the heel of my foot. All of it is so very sexy to me. <laughs> I just, I love it. I don't know why it's so hypersexual in my mind, but it is. So I guess on that scale to one to 10, I'd say I'm like a nine with feet. Like pretty much anywhere other than like my vagina, it's feet, feet. Okay, this must be Meg's thing. It says there's a shukaki party tonight. Shukaki? What's that? It's 50 guys, one foot. Oh my. Somebody asked, what dick size do I want? Um, <laughs> I'm not really a size queen. I'm more like, uh, how are you going to treat me <laughs> type of thing. So I think if I have like a good emotional um, and mental connection with somebody, then the physical aspect usually just follows. I have to really desire someone for the sex to be good. And for me to want to really desire someone, they have to be able to hold a conversation with me. So uh, I don't really look for dick size, but, but if I were, I'd probably say somewhere around a seven to an eight inch, but I'm more looking for girth. I want you to really stretch me out. <laughs> Alpha Arma wants to know if I'll go on a date with him. Maybe. I mean, I do occasionally go on dates. I don't go on free dates, but uh, if you pay me for my time, I will uh, dedicate a little bit of it to you to see if you impress me. And last but not least, somebody asked me about Chicago and what my favorite part of my Chicago trip was. And to this, I'll say, the favorite part of me being in Chicago was that a 25 year old man actually blew me out of the water. I was very impressed by his mannerisms, by his respect. Uh, he showed up on time. He did everything he was supposed to do, did not blow my phone up, uh, was a good looking, good conversationalist and really good in bed. I am very rarely a, taken aback by a person who is younger than me in age and life, but I will say occasionally, from time to time, someone changes my mind. And for that, I really appreciate. So that was probably my best part of my Chicago trip. Shaky, bonjour. May I speak to Abe Froman? The sausage king of Chicago. Abe Froman. Let me check the restaurant. Could you describe him for me, please? Leather jacket, white t-shirt, sweater vest. Nice. Devastatingly handsome. Oh. Hold on one moment. Yes, thank you. All right, guys, if you have more questions or anything you wanna hear me talk about, comment below and I will try my very best to have all of the subjects that you want me to talk about discussed. And until next time, guys, if you like what you saw, click subscribe. And until next time, adios, guys.